Hey guys, welcome to Alice Every Day, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to build an infinity square. So guys, this is the shape, is it is the infinity cube, and it is very complicated, but I'm gonna make it easy for you. We're gonna break this down, and we're gonna go step by step to tackle this mission. Now the first thing that we are gonna do is to get the boards ready. Now you can use just one and a half inch by one and a half inch or your two inch um, squared boards, but I actually use two by fours. And to get these, I'm actually gonna cut down each round off that the boards have, ending up with a three inch middle section. And then I'm gonna rip that one right in the middle. I'm actually gonna do this cutting each part first, which I'm gonna need uh, but 19 inch long pieces and we're actually gonna need 12 19 inch by one and a half so I'm gonna cut six pieces and then cut them right in the middle so again we're gonna end up with 12 19 inch by one and a half by one and a half pieces now this is just the first step if you want a complete cut list you would also need six uh, 17 inch pieces by one and a half by one and a half which I'm gonna talk about later and how to cut them now as I mentioned before we're gonna take the round off parts of the two by fours off to end up with a perfect three inch by one and a half now you can do this by slicing off little by little on each side you can actually just take off very shy of a quarter of an inch from each side and you'll be good to go. Make sure you do it right and make sure you measure it once you're done to make sure you have a perfect three inch uh, piece, main body, um, because you have to calculate in the size of your blade or else you're gonna chop off too much and then you won't have nice squares. Again, this project is very precise. Everything has to be very, very precise and accurate or else your cube will not stand straight. As you can see here, I'm just cutting every piece down in the middle to get a one and a half by one and a half by 19 inch. Now the next step is to cut out a 45 degree angle on each side. Now this, these have to be matching on these 12 pieces first because the special six pieces, they're gonna have a 45 degree, then you turn it 90 degrees and then you cut it again on the other end. So I'm gonna show you this, how to do this later, but basically all these you have to have a 19 inch and then your bottom side is gonna be about 60 inches long. As I mentioned before, we're gonna break this project down into sections. The first thing we're gonna do is actually just build very simple L shapes. And with these L shapes, we're actually gonna add in the special cuts, two sides of special cuts to every section. So as I mentioned, to make these L shapes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab two boards, put some tape on it, flip them around, glue them, and just put them all together. Now repeat this process to have six L shapes. So as mentioned before, we're gonna break this down to having six L shapes, and then we're gonna have our other six special pieces that we're gonna show you later how to put them all together.
next we're gonna get started on the special cuts now I did these pieces I'm gonna need six pieces by 17 inch by one and a half so I'm gonna repeat the process I'm just gonna cut three slabs of my two by four take off the roundovers cut it in the middle and there I will have my six pieces of 17 inch by one and a half Now what you want to do with these pieces once you have them cut is actually draw out the angles that you need to have because this is going to keep it simple and you won't mix up all your angles. What you're going to need is to make one side a 45 to connect with your L and then the other side is also a 45 is going to be facing down. Now this means that both sides, your left and your right, they're going to be different but they're both going to end up facing down. And you want to repeat this for all your six pieces. Now to cut all these 45 angles, you can use a jig that I made myself, or you can just use your miter saw. Now at this point, you want to glue all these together and you're going to end up with three almost squares and they're all going to have facing down at one corner. That is very important because if you don't build it that way, it's just not going to fit right. Repeat the same process of putting the tape and putting all of them together. Now, what I did was actually make the L's, let them dry and then do this process. But if you want to tackle everything at once, you can go ahead, but you have to let these pieces dry because they need to be able to hold the weight of each side. So as you can see, you have a square that has a corner missing and they're both facing down. That is very important. Repeat this process until you have three of these exact same sections. After you let them dry, we're going to start getting the build ready. Now you want to dry assemble this and then you want to glue it together. Now you will need two, only two pieces that should be about an inch and a half um, tall that you're going to need them to actually have some spacing because remember, all the sides are going to be floating within themselves. So to glue this, easy, make it easier, if you just grab two pieces of wood, it's going to help each side stand and you're going to be able to glue it without a problem. Now what I do recommend is just lay out your bottom, lay out your face, and then slide the wood and start putting the pieces together on the side. You're going to have three squares that are going to be connected by the other three L's that are extra.
I do recommend you to follow the lines. So if you go one by one, you're gonna be able to see how they perfectly fit with each other. The hardest one is the top. Now to get the top, I do recommend to grab a little shim or a little piece of wood. And you can actually slide it and so it can rest on it and the glue will be able to dry before you can take off the shim and then it's just gonna hold itself up. Now this is a project that I've seen made a lot in metal and it works perfectly fine with metal because it's very strong so it holds together within itself very nicely. Uh, with wood it's actually a, a struggle. You need to sit there and make sure everything fits nice, make sure everything dries up nicely because within itself is holding itself floating every single side except for the bottom. So you don't want it to jiggle down or you don't want it to actually break apart. So make sure you take your time, apply enough glue and let it dry. It's a very key point that you have to let it dry completely. And what I did was actually whenever it dried, I would go back and see wherever I could add more glue to it. So the more the better. You do not want to have any little gap because it's just going to make it weaker. Once you start putting the sides together, you're going to see that you're going to get the hang of this and it just becomes a very simple puzzle. Now, this took a very long time to calculate and when I sketched that up, it, it just took forever to get every single angle right and I'm, I'm just so glad and happy that I got the understanding of how it works and was able to get this done very easily. As I mentioned before, once you get everything nicely aligned, make sure you actually grab a level and see that everything is leveled out and use the shims wherever you can. You can basically get away with just using two shims and it actually holds itself. Just put them in opposite corners. But the more the better because you have to let this dry and it has to dry straight because as soon as you take off those shims, everything will be floating.
There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this build. I know I enjoyed this build. It's pretty crazy. It did take up a couple days to glue everything together and make sure it's very dry and very sturdy. Now, I will be finishing this off and putting it in my living room because it is awesome. You can use it as a table. It is stable, and it just it's just a work of art. Now, if you're looking for the plans, I will be leaving a link in the description to make sure that you can find all the plans and make sure you can follow them because it does get crazy and it gets confusing. It did take a lot of time to plan it out and make everything perfect, but it is very enjoyable. And I think I will be building a couple of these throughout the year. So I hope you liked it. Make sure you leave a comment down below what you thought of this build or how did yours turn out. If you did make one, please tag me on it because I do want to see how it turned out. Give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody that you like or anybody that thinks this is awesome because I think this is absolutely awesome and it's just so nice to look at and you just keep following it, it's, it's awesome, it's just pretty awesome. Thank you again for watching, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next build.